This video is to show you how to set up the Control Logics PLC using Studio 5000 software. So the first thing you need to do is open your software. And you can do it from this icon down here on the taskbar. And we're going to open a new project. If you have an existing project, you can select it down here, but we're going to start a brand new project. The first thing we need to do is select our processor, and we're using a 1756L71, and we need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Processor 01. And then we need to set up the revision, the chassis, and the slot that the processor will be going in. We are using a seven slot chassis. So we select that from the list. Our processor is going in slot zero. And then we have to click finish. Sometimes this takes a little while to set up, depending on how fast your computer is. All right, so the software is opened up, and you can see over here in the back plane, right here, uh, is our 1756A7. That's our back plane. And our processor is in slot 0, a 1756L71 that is called Processor 01. Now, we need to finish uh, setting up the rest of our back plane. So all we have to do is highlight backplane, then right click, new module, and when we need to select a module. Now if this is checked right here, then you're looking at every possible module that could be going in there. So uh, we can uncheck that. We can look for just the digital modules because that's all we're going to be using. And over here, the different vendors uh, doesn't really matter, but the more you have checked, the more it's going to be looking for. And the first module that we're going to be using is a 1756 IB16, and that is an Allen Bradley input card. So we select it, and we click Create. We check the revision number, and that should be on 3. Click OK. And now we need to give it a name. I'm just going to call it input 01. And that is going in slot 1. Then always disable keying. Select OK. And then we're going to set ours for 200 our RPIs, which is requested pack intervals, for 200 milliseconds. So that means it's looking for information every 200 milliseconds. And we click OK. And you'll see that it has appeared over here. And then we're going to set up another module. So again, you're going to right click on the back plane. I'm sorry, left click. And then right click for new module. We're going to deselect that. We're going to select digital. And our output card that we are using is a 1756 OB16D. So all we have to do is go down through the list till we find the 1756 OB16D. And then we create it. Click OK. I'm going to call this one. Output 01. And this one will be going in slot 2. Disable King. Set my RPI. Click Apply. OK. And it is set up. Now, we also have an Ethernet card. Uh, we won't be using it right now, but we will be using it throughout the course. So I'm going to go ahead and set that one up. 
This is going to be a continuation of this program through each one of the videos. This is a communications module. So I'm going to select it. And we are using a 1756 EN2T. Now, if you're not sure what module you have, you can pull them out of the chassis and the number's right there on the side. I'm going to create it. And we have to give this one a name. Ethernet 01. Uh, then down here in the module definition, we'll look and see. Let's change this to disable keying. This one on ours is going to be going into slot 6. And we need to give this an IP address. Um, so you need to know what your IP address is. Uh, that happens to be the one that we're using in here on Tower 1. So all of them will be 10.109.1. some number. That last number de determines which panel we will be going to. And I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that it shows up over here. So, setting up the backplane, we set up the processor with a 1756L71. We set up an input card, a 1756IB16, and we set up an output card, which is a 1756OB16D. And then the final thing that we did was set up our communications through an Ethernet card, which is a 1756EN2T. And that is all we're going to do on this video. We will make another video showing you how to make a controller tag, how to add things to the program, and many, many more. So stay tuned, and we will cover those in another video.